Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations x squared minus y squared is equal to 9 and x y is equal to 20. Our job is to find all possible values of x plus y. So, let us start. Let us call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2 and you square both sides of equation 1. Equation 1 is x squared minus y squared is equal to 9. We take square of both sides. So, by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. This x squared minus y squared whole squared will become x squared whole squared plus y squared whole squared minus 2 times x squared times y squared is equal to 9 squared is 51. Now, this x squared the whole squared will become x to the power 4 plus this will become y to the power 4 minus 2 x squared y squared is equal to 51. Next, x to the power 4 plus uh, y to the power 4 minus 2. This uh, x squared y squared can be written as uh, x y whole squared is equal to 51. Now, we replace uh, this x y with this value of x y 20 from equation 2. From equation 2, x times y is equal to 20. So, this will become x to the power 4 plus uh, y to the power 4 minus 2 times 20 squared is equal to 81. Next, x to the power 4 plus uh, y to the power 4 minus 2 times this uh, 20 squared is uh, 400 is equal to 81. Next, x to the power 4 plus uh, y to the power 4 minus 2 times 400 will become 800 is equal to 81. We move this uh, negative 800 to the right hand side, then this will become x to the power 4 plus uh, y to the power 4 is equal to 81 plus 800 and this will become x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 is equal to 881. Now, we make this left hand side a perfect square. We write this x to the power 4 as x squared whole squared plus we write this y to the power 4 as uh, y squared whole squared. To make this a perfect square, we add at left hand side 2 uh, x squared y squared is equal to 881 and we add 2 uh, x squared y squared at uh, right hand side. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus uh, b squared plus 2ab is equal to a plus b whole squared. This expression will become x squared plus y squared whole squared is equal to 881 plus 2 times this x squared y squared can be written as x times y whole squared. Now, we replace this x y with the value of x y twenty. X times y is equal to twenty. So, this will become 
x squared plus y squared whole squared is equal to 881 plus 2 times value of x y 20 and this square will come here. Next x squared plus y squared whole squared is equal to 881 plus 2 times this 20 square will become 400. Next x squared plus y squared whole squared is equal to 881 plus 2 times 400 800 and uh, x squared plus uh, y squared whole squared is equal to 881 and uh, 800 will become 1681. Now we take a square root of both sides. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we get two values x squared plus y squared is equal to plus minus 41. It means x squared plus y squared is equal to 41 and x squared plus y squared is equal to negative 41. Now, square of any number is always positive. So, this x squared is greater than 0 and this y squared is greater than 0. And sum of two positive numbers cannot be negative. So, we reject this value. Now, to make this expression x squared plus y squared a perfect square, we add 2xy to both sides like this x squared plus uh, y squared we add 2xy at the left hand side is equal to 41 and we add 2xy at the right hand side. Now this uh, x squared plus uh, y squared plus uh, 2xy will become x plus y whole squared is equal to 41 plus uh, 2 times uh, in place of this x y we put the value of x y value of x y is 20. x times y is equal to 20. So, this will become 2 times 20. X x plus y whole squared is equal to 41 plus this is 2 times 20 will become 40. Next x plus y whole squared is equal to 41 plus 40 will become 81. Now, we take a square root of both sides x plus y whole squared and we take square root on the left hand side is equal to plus or minus 81 we take square root on the right hand side. Now, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and from here we get the value of x plus y is equal to plus or minus square root of 81 is 9. It means x plus y is equal to positive 9 and x plus y is equal to negative 9. So, we have two values of x plus y 9 and negative 9. So, the final set of solutions of x plus y is equal to negative 9 comma 9 this is the final answer of this problem.